Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. It's a beautiful day here in Farmer's Dynasty. The sun's out. And of course, this is the first episode after the update. And that's what we're basically going to be doing today. No yard or, well, there'll be yard work. Uh, no field work is what I want to say. Uh, Rex is excited. He's going to, he's going to get a new friend. Um, yeah, he's going to get, he's going to get, what is it, James? I think James is his name. Let's head on right to the bus stop. We're going to head right down to the agricultural store. Actually, you know what? We're right here with John. Let's go visit John first. John's always here. He he's he's a twenty four seven kind of guy. Good to see you. Can I help you? Yeah, I need I need all your new stuff, dude. Care to trade? Sure. What do you need? I need a few things. Uh, your expensive things, like a shovel for a hundred dollars, uh, a rake for seventy one dollars, a water can for thirty six dollars, and um, just give me all of your seeds, please. Bye, bye, bye. Bye bye birdie. Uh yeah, all the seeds. So we got all the gardening stuff. Boom, taken care of. I think what we'll actually do because I want the pickup truck anyways. But we're gonna head on down to the store. Get ourselves James the cat. Yep, that's right, James the cat. Uh we'll take care of him and buy some seeds for the new greenhouses we're gonna get. I think we're just going to start with one greenhouse, uh, probably the same one I bought in the update video. And uh, yeah, we're going to plant a whole bunch of, because there's like three greenhouses there. And uh, we'll see how that goes, because I want to I wanna use some of our sheet metal that we have and maybe upgrade it. This pickup truck will probably stay at that greenhouse. Um, we'll see how time goes, and maybe at some point... I can, uh, we'll go buy, I mean, we're going to buy all the greenhouses, let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get them all, and we're going to spend some cash. Spend some cash. Don't let me out. Thank you. So let's pop on here. Let's go right to animals and fertilizers. Uh, one cat, please. I need, I need pest control. Um, do I need anything else while I'm here? I do not think so. No. Well, I mean, as for animals. All right, so now we're going to go to Greenhouse Goods. Um, paprika, I have 429. Uh, cucumber, just give, just give me, just give it all. And chili seeds, just, yep, uh, that's good. Uh, paprika, I will actually buy, you know what, since we're going to have a lot of greenhouses, why not? Uh, 13 grand, actually over 13 grand. Pumpkin, tomatoes, um, we're here. Why not? Um, that is good. Boom. So we have a cat and a whole bunch of seed. Uh, I'm going to have to put a marker on that greenhouse. It'd be this one right here. Uh, now i got to get out of this quote-unquote parking lot. Um, today, I'm not going to buy... I don't, I don't know if I want to buy either of the new tractors or not. If I do buy one of the tractors, we'll be selling... Yeah, why, why, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'll sell. I mean, I really don't need another tractor. I mean, if they if they give us another five spade of plow, I can see myself doing more, you know, leaving tractors in certain areas of the map with a plow, and that way I don't have to drive all the way around. But right now, yeah, I don't really have a need to buy another tractor at the moment. Like I said, uh, I could use another another five spade of plow. I got enough cultivators. I mean, I guess I could park a tractor with a cultivator somewhere to cultivate fields. Uh, we only have one seed drill, so it's not like I can leave seed drills everywhere. So, yeah. So here we are. Greenhouse for sale. I should say greenhouses, really. Um, yep, 50 grand. Is that what it was in the update video? 50 grand? It's got to be, because there hasn't been an update that I know of. 
yes. So the only thing that I, you know, there's been no patches or anything like that. What do I have right now on me? Melons. Uh, yeah, so you're supposed to be able to come here, it says, and change the seeds, but uh, that's not possible. So what I need to do is, I don't need to go to the car. I can just teleport to, yeah, here we go again. We're going to teleport to the combine all the time. Um, do you guys have any eggs today? No, you do not. All right, I was trying to go to see if the wife was going to pick them up, but. Okay, so into our greenhouse, the original one. Uh, I will close the, the door. Can I, is that like a glitch? Can I actually plant melons on the ground? Is that a glitch? It's saying, uh, um, okay, I'm hitting left mouse button and it's not, <laughs> no, it's not letting me plant it. Um, our zucchini is ready as well. I'm going to leave the zucchini here and see if the wife happens to pick it up. You're listening to some food the pantry. Cat should keep mice at bay. Um, James, um, I got James. Uh, so let's grab some cucumber first. James should be here. I did, I did purchase a cat, did I not? Uh, left mouse button. There's Rex. There's Timmy. There is James. So I don't... It, James, welcome to the farm. Take care of the pantry. Um, yeah, take a nap. Uh, <laughs> that's what he's going to do. Uh, all right, so teleport back to our vehicle. And we'll come in here. So we got three greenhouses. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. In the, yeah, I was hitting the right mouse button. Not I don't know my difference between my left and my right today. So when I go back and get different seeds, um, I will try planting planting that on the floor and see what happens. All right, spam the left mouse button, Peanut. There you go. No, that's, that's the one on the left, not the right. So three greenhouses. And so we're going to do cucumbers in one. Chili in another, paprika in another, because I don't, I don't think I've planted paprika at all. So yeah, the greenhouses are fifty grand, but but we get three greenhouses, and these things are a lot bigger than what is back at the farm. Now, from my understanding, um, you don't, there's no community control is going to keep it automatically. So yeah, but we're going to be back here shortly. I don't know if I'm going to get to the flowers today or not. I don't need to go to the car, just teleport to the tractor. Yeah, because I, I want to get that greenhouse. That's going to bother me. You know, like I said, I need a tetanus shot just from looking at it because it's so rusty. Uh, it'll bother me if I don't take care of it. So let's come in here. Now I'm going to hit the left mouse button. Um, all right. So... I'm afraid to leave them on the ground because I'm afraid it might cause a glitch in here. But I don't think that's supposed to happen. Obviously, I don't think it's supposed to at all. Um, I can't put any here. Yeah, so that, I think uh, that bug might need to be reported. The chili. Yeah, because I did cucumber, right? That's cucumber. Yeah, cucumber. Uh, we'll leave it there. I mean, see what happens. Why not? Let's jump on out. So, yeah, we got cucumber in there. Now we have this greenhouse here. As you see, I did update some of this stuff. I don't know why. I must have been, like, bored one day. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just came over here to see if I could actually fix these things. So I'm hoping that James uh, will somehow take care. I don't know how he's supposed to take care of the mice. I mean, we got the message, but I'm trying to think maybe he works like our wife does at a certain hour. He, quote unquote, clean, takes care of the mice problem. So it's like our wife will collect the eggs and the milk around the farm at a certain time of day if we're not there. And James maybe will take care of the mouse problem at a certain time of the day as well. So chili pepper we have planted everywhere. Why am I going outside? I don't I don't know. Back to the farm. And now I'm going to grab paprika. 
which was not this recent update, but the update before, and I have not planted any at all. And we'll put that in the third greenhouse. No, I don't have to go outside. Just go to the car. There you go. I'm learning. Uh, I was going to park in the middle of the mall, but it doesn't matter. So let's go over to our third greenhouse. Yeah, it'd be nice if uh, I could just get the seeds, but I'm pretty sure that there'll be a patch probably next week for the update. Seeing that um, they release this on a Thursday evening. And they probably worked on the bugs a little bit on Friday and they'll get back to work. I don't know if they take weekends off or not. I don't know. I shouldn't say anything. But uh, yeah, I would assume some of these things should be fixed <laughs> pretty soon. Okay, so that is all of our paprika. Can I see the humidity level in here at all anywhere? No, not at all. All right, so that is good to go there. And I don't know why I'm going outside again. So now what I need to do is teleport back to our farm. Hop out of the wife's tractor that she never uses. Now if I grab one of these and then come over here. And it gives me a nail gun. I don't want to repair rusty metal. I want to rebuild rusty metal. There we go. Pow, pow. So all that metal that's been sitting there, is this repaired or... Yeah. So all that metal's been sitting there for ages. We're going to use some of it today. I don't know if we'll get rid of any of those planks because there's 100 per... But if I remember, because it's been a while since I've done any building, really, I think for each dot you see in the screen, every time I... So this is going to take, like, two pieces of metal back at the farm. But we'll sit here and pop, pop, pop until I run out of sheet metal somewhere. But well, already, this greenhouse is looking great on the outside. Making the community look better day by day. Yeah, we're actually going to go through a lot of sheet metal now I think about it. Which is good. It'll get rid of that sheet metal that's at the farm. So we'll see how much we go through it today. I don't, I don't know. Maybe two of them? Because we got the insides to do, the roofs to do. But man, we just got to make it look better because it looks terrible. And if in real life, if it was only this easy, you just go pow, pow, and a whole wall is taken care of. Well, most of the outside work is done, but I found something interesting, and it's I think I was having a flashback, but I couldn't put no scaffolding around the greenhouse to get up on the roof to fix the roof. And I think in past, I had to come inside the greenhouse and stand on the tables to get the roof done. Uh, not the best way to do it, but I mean, what works, works. Um, I'm still punching away with sheet metal, so I don't know if I'm actually <laughs> using any of my stock back at the farm or not. Um, yeah, making the world and greenhouses a better place one pop rivet at a time with the sheet metal. But already it's looking so much better in here. At some point we'll get to the cement and the tile as well. I wonder if I make my, my rack better if I can access it now. I don't know. Pow, pow, pow. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find a way to get this all around here. 
I don't know. I kind of forgot how I did it. I think I jumped up here. Yeah, did that. I think for some reason when I do one of these roofs, it does the whole thing. I might be wrong there. I think I'm wrong. Oh, there we go. Okay, not that one. Magically paints as well. It's a little tricky when you can't get on the scaffolding to do the roof. But if we can do it this way, it'll work fine. I'm starting to wonder if I am using any scaffolding at the house or not. Or not scaffolding, but uh, sheet metal at all. Uh, so I'm going to continue on the roofs just a little bit longer here. And I'll bring it back. Because uh, it's probably going to take me at least another 10 minutes of doing this. Before I even get done with this greenhouse. Well, I have all the sheet metal done in the first greenhouse. But I still can't couldn't find the trigger to replace the sheet metal on here. But if I switch over to the metal grinder... I can take care of it that way. Um, it's not new. I mean, the trigger for that is rather easy. So for now, I will make it look better. But if I go to the pop rivet gun, I cannot... Oh, now I find it. It's like... <laughs> Did I have to fix it first in order to do that? Or is I just not close enough? All right, wait a minute here. Now, because now the trigger is coming up real easy for me. Let's go to one of these rusty ones and see if it... No. All right. Let's, uh, let's grind it. <laughs> Switch back to the pop rivet gun, back up, and there it is. All right, so if you're doing your greenhouses like me and you're doing this, finding the same thing, I would say grind the pole first. That sounds dirty. Um, and then do the sheet metal upgrade. Yeah, I'm trying it. Uh, nothing. All right, so we'll repair it. So it looks like I'm just going to do, <laughs> I thought it's going to whiz, whiz right through these uh, greenhouses. Um, no, I'm not whizzing right through. Yeah, so... Yeah, I can I can repair the metal after I grind it, no problem. Triggers right there. Uh, I'm getting triggered. Not really. Yeah, so get rid of the rust first, and then uh, yeah, do the sheet metal on the poles at least. Back up. I mean, yeah, I can back way up, and he gives me the trigger for it. All right, whatever works. Whatever works. I don't know why I keep trying it. It's like, I'll just go to the pole and see if I can just do it right away. A lot of these tools I haven't used in a long time. A long, long time. So we still got to do the tiles on the floor. Got to do some cement on the floor. But already, I mean, we're making this side of... Uh, uh, what town are we actually in? Whatever town we're in. I don't know if we're in Wheatford or Redberry or the town. In, no, definitely not in Redberry. I know that. Um, well, there's Homestead. Here's Old Wheatford. So we're not actually in anywhere. We're in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, the first greenhouse of the three are is looking a lot better, but obviously... Um, you can see the cement needs work, the tile needs some work, but already it's a lot better. If I come over here now, now can I use a seed place? No. It looks a lot better, right? Looks a lot better. Um, so now that I've done the sheet metal, there is no humidity control like we have at the 
the greenhouse back at the farm. But it says this will do it automatically. So, I mean, if I get so far to leave the windows open, it'd be fine. I have, I have no idea. But some other day, we'll, we'll come back and go ahead and take care of the rest of the greenhouses. I'm just coming into... I don't, I don't force a habit of doing the doors, sorry. Rebuild Rusty Meadow. So, on this greenhouse... Oh, no, I was actually on the table. I'm like, haha, this, uh, this greenhouse, I can do it. Now, like I said, I haven't gone back to the farm yet to see if I've used uh, any of my sheet metal. I mean, it's 100 sheet metal per rack or crate or whatever you want to call it. So, I don't know if I can just keep using it or I, when the crate ran, runs out. Because I, I definitely have clicked the button more than 100 Uh, did I just run out? Did I just run out? I may have just run out of, of sheet metal. Alright, well, one way to find out. You know what, before I go anywhere, because I've done a lot of work. Uh, save the game. Save the game. There we go. Well, it says saving the game. Wait for it game saved. Alright, so now I'll head back to the farm. Wife's tractor. I guess I could buy the other tractors for travel points to the greenhouses, but those are expensive travel points. One, two, three, four, five. I still got five sheet metals here. Ah. <sighs> So I don't know if I'm using any of them to be honest with you. And uh, yeah, so now we got <laughs> now we got stuff on the on the ground. Um, so we're gonna leave the zucchini in there. See if the wife picks it up. Hello, Rex. Uh, James uh, is not doing anything. Now I kind of like the fact the way I did it in the video on the beta of putting some of the flowers along this fence here. So we're going to go ahead and do the same. Um, just the other thing, putting them on the other side of the fence, the flowers were kind of growing in the fence. So we may just do it here. And I don't, I don't plan on selling the flowers. I'm just trying to spice up the area a little bit. And the wife, with her watering can... Should have no problem maintaining the flowers here. I would assume it's in her working area. <laughs> yeah, I, I laugh when I say that because I'm not really sure what her working area is. Now, I might try to get a little fancy of how I place the flowers. But also by doing this, it cuts down of how much of the lawn I got to mow. Now, from the update patch as well... And I didn't, apparently you got to be careful with the mower because you can mow down your flowers. So be careful with a strimmer and your riding mower because, um, no, I'll leave that one empty. You can apparently chop down your flowers. All right, so tab, um, let's have something to eat. 45, 55, and then, um, sure. All right, so now the rake. Use a rake. Does it say the ground is... No, it doesn't. So it doesn't tell you how wet the ground is until you plant flowers down. But I'm going to try to get a little fancy. I'm not going to just do all like one kind of flower along. I'm going to mix and match. Now, the one thing I may try somewhere else is I may try to put a couple seeds in the same... Well, you can see they're kind of doing it in squares. I may try doing it, putting the same seed in certain squares to see if I get, like, double flowers in the same. But my guess is if it does do that, they're going to grow in exactly the same spot and it's just going to look weird. So, probably not. And down there. 
All right. So now comes the tricky part for me. Use rose seeds. So I want to. Problem is I don't know. Am I gonna have to do it this way, which is gonna suck? Uh, rose seeds. Then Zinthia. And then a tulip. This could take me a while, so I, I want to mix and match kind of like the way I just did. Um, so instead of just sitting here watching me go from tab to tab, give me a minute and I will get this done at some rate, I suppose. All right, last one done. I'm not going to lie to you, that was kind of a pain in the butt. But <laughs> um, we'll know. Boy, it's going to probably take me a while to get there. Um, but you can see some already growing. And it says very wet. So you don't have to water them the first time. Um, yeah, so I'll probably plant more flowers later on. Um, I don't know if I'll plant them along here or not. Maybe... Maybe along this fence line here at some point we'll get along there. Uh, but yes, there are beehives and beehives help the flowers. So there are beehives over here somewhere. And we got to make, make sure I put some down over by the apples as well. We should get apples in a couple more weeks. Because we are just in mid, mid-ish, well, about two-thirds of the way through April. Um, yeah, that's what I want to say. Where do they go? Over here. Bam. Bam. Mm. Bam. So, yeah, we might, like I said, I might buy more tractors to teleport to other greenhouses. Um, yeah, so there are, whoops, there are greenhouses way over here. I mean, there's a bus stop here. It's just going to be a pain in the butt going back and forth until you can get the seeds directly from the greenhouse going back and forth. Um, yeah, greenhouses. It's kind of weird those greenhouses out here. Silos. I'm not going to worry about the silos until we have a harvest. Um, there's greenhouses here. But let's uh, let's head to the bus stop and head over to Mary Waters and see where this greenhouse is. And... Um, uh, bus stop is this way, Peanut. Where are you going? I don't know. Uh, so James loves us. We don't have to feed him, I guess. And I was trying to figure out, like I said in the in the update video, I was trying to see if he would, if there's a command you have to give him, like, hey, go after the mice. Uh, but apparently not. So I'm assuming he's just gonna like do his quote unquote job during the day, and then we won't get the message about the mice anymore. Um, if we still do, then I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? I, I'm just, I'm just gonna. Yep. Yeah, I thought about doing it, and uh, we're already here. So here we go. <laughs> yeah. You know what we're doing already. Um, so this is the CA type tractor by by custom. It's custom. Um. Did, did I? It used my social points? That was rude. All I did was hit E to, to purchase and it used my social points. <sighs> I mean, I, I don't need the million social points anymore for the for the uh, achievement. We already got it, so it saved me some money. So here are the greenhouses. Take my social points without asking me. That was rude. These greenhouses here look like they're already uh, in fine condition. Wait, these greenhouses here have... Uh, let me enter... Yeah, enter. 120,000 for these. Well... I guess it's because they're in good condition. Unlike the ones we bought over there. 
Uh, I'm an engineering site trying to see. Yeah, I don't see where there's any problems um, where anything needs to be fixed. I thought I saw a water tank. So this one here has a community control. Warning, auto balance on. Um, I mean, is there an option to turn it off if I wanted to? <laughs> 80, 81 degrees Fahrenheit, 27 degrees Celsius, 74% humidity. Uh, max 80, low 54, temperature. Yeah, okay. Um, I wonder if this seed this seed place works. All right, so that, that works out. Um, this is a little... Can I... Um, I was trying to fix it. I, last thing I grabbed was sheet metal. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and... Um, yeah, we're going to do chili, chili, chili. Go ahead and plant some chili seeds or chili plants right in here. So now I bought a tractor to, to teleport here. Just to teleport here. Uh, that's all we're going to use it for. Uh, kind of bu bums me out a little bit that I used my, some of my social points. It was kind of neat seeing the million, million social points there. But I don't really need them anymore. I don't. I mean, I don't see where the people are really loving me more because I got that many social points. So, I don't know. Um, okay, so there are the chili seeds in here. So, yes, that... So, it's kind of... I don't want to say unfortunate in my in my update video. I went to the greenhouse that we're fixing up and I was like, where's the humidity control? I don't see the humidity control. And now if I come to the other ones, they're in here. Into these. Yeah, I can use this seed storage as well. Um, you know what? I'm going to do tomatoes in here. Because we're doing paprika, cucumber already. Let's just mix up and put some tomatoes down. Yeah, I said tomatoes. Tomato, tomato. So I'm, I'm still a little baffled about the sheet metal at our other greenhouse. I'm, I used a lot of sheet metal to fix up the first greenhouse. And, um, yeah, nothing disappeared at the farm, which is okay. Well, it's kind of, I guess I can just pick them up and go sell them if I really want to, but minor stuff. So now with this many greenhouses, uh, we can make a lot of money by canning the food afterwards and all that stuff. Um, yeah, so just, I don't want to say just two greenhouses here. I thought I saw I thought I saw an apple apple tree somewhere around here. Um, no. I will hit the engineering button see if there's any beehives I can place down. I, it won't be beneficial to us around here. No. So what did it drop me just down to social that was a lot of social points that it used. A lot. That's a big bird. Um, yeah, so no beehives around here. And I can use the seed storage here. Now, it was asked of me, and I think I will try it out. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll leave that tractor here. When I head back to the farm, do one more thing. Other than hop out of the vehicle. Oh, it's already like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So somebody asked me if I planted flowers down by a river slash pond or whatever, will they always stay wet? Now the problem is you need to be in a, what's it called, a green area. Yeah, use a shovel. So I can use it here. Um, I don't want to ruin the duck's food and everything. So let's go like over here. That's not grassy enough. Oh well, this is right in water. So, <laughs> okay, let's uh, all right, let's uh, but that's not all right. I'm not really sure. That's not a grassy area apparently. Um, but this is. Uh, go figure. Um, that's not a grassy area. All right, that is. 
All right, so this, this is just a, for testing purposes anyways. So in the future, uh, we can also like maybe, um, maybe mow it, see if it can mow it or something, or this is just a test purpose area. I may even forget about it. Uh, let's put down, uh, the seeds aren't that expensive. Uh, let's put roses in because they seem to be, no, th I think these grew fastest in the, in the test on the update video. So we'll go ahead and put these down. Now, obviously, like a, they're going to be very wet to begin with, so we're going to have to wait a couple weeks. Uh, very wet, but I'm guessing the game is not going to know that they're watered. Now, the one thing that's going to be hard to tell is if it does rain, the rain will keep the, mo uh, the ground wet as well. Or I'll re-moisturize it, I should say. But I think that's going to do it for this video, guys, uh, or at least this day. So we got James the cat, so hopefully he keeps the mice out of the pantry. Um, we saw the message today, like I got mice in the pantry. So hopefully James keeps up with it. Uh, I mean, yeah, even I, I could put down whatever I got. Uh, what did I do last? Uh, tomatoes. So apparently I can, make, I can plant tomatoes on the ground. So I'll have to go to the store, buy some tiles. Or I got tiles in the back of the truck and air brick. I guess it's air brick I put around the bottom to make it. I don't know if I'm going to make them all the same. But I got tons of metal still. Um, yeah, I don't know. Didn't seem like to use any. Although when I walk up to this one, it says pick up metal. These say it's 100 pieces, 100 pieces, 100 pieces, 100 pieces. I don't know. Uh, probably so next episode, we, uh, we may go back to that green. Do like some of the greenhouse work here and there. Uh, but maybe get back to doing some field work as well. But at least we got something to mix up for a while. Uh, so, yeah, you guys don't you didn't have no eggs today. Um, I don't think the wife is going to... I tried it in the update video, but she didn't say nothing new. Um, let's go ahead and just say hello to her. So she's got her seed bucket. Um, darling. She's, oh, sorry, she's going to just ignore me Honey? or something? Good evening, dear. Uh, nice to see you. You're beautiful. Something you need. I'm off to work. Good luck. See you around. Nice to see you, love. How are you? As far as I know, there's no more new dialogue. I'm perfect, darling. Thank you. You're welcome. Although your hand is a little screwed up there. Um, it looks like, I don't know, like you hit your hand with a hammer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, funny wave. So, yeah. It's going to take a while for these to grow for us. But it's going to be interesting to see how I divided up the flowers. So it's going to look different. Hopefully the pattern comes out and looks decent. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you next time on the Day in the Farm. But until then, have a good one. I'm going to go sit down by the fire and relax.